Premier is gone. Yes, the coward has already fled. The USSR is at death's door, comrade. Which is why we must hurry. Sir, I beg you, please. What is this? Some sort of escape route? No, sir. Twelve months ago, I was put in charge of a top-secret project. Whatever it is, it is too late. With respect, General, you are wrong. Please. For you see, sir, time is on our side. No, 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 it isn't ready. It hasn't been tested. We don't even know if it works. If what works? My time machine. Prepare these coordinates. No, please. Please. Now! Sir, no! No! No, please. No. Please, I mean, get in! All right. You cannot be serious. Come, Comrade General. A new world order awaits. Come! Touch nothing. We mustn't do anything to disrupt space-time continuum. Where are we? Brussels, 1927. 1927. The Solvay International Physics Conference. Is that Einstein? Yes, Doctor. The man most responsible for our enemy's technological superiority. The man who made them invincible. What do you plan to do? <laughs> Gentlemen? Doctor! No! I do not understand. We have altered the past and changed the present. Ah, good to see you, sir. I have the reports from the front that you requested. Thank you. What do you have for me? I'm sorry, Comrade General. I meant Premier Cherdenko. Sir, the Allies are on the run soon. Western Europe will be ours. You hear that, General? Our enemies have been defeated. Hold on, sir. I'm receiving an emergency transmission from our northern base. They're attacking! There are too many! We have to evacuate! Who is attacking? The Imperial War Machine has been unleashed. Do not struggle against what is inevitable. All who stand in the way of our divine destiny will be swept away by the march of history. You will bow before us, or you will cease to exist. Sir, it appears that the Empire has mounted a full-scale assault. What Empire? The Empire of the Rising Sun, of course. We now have two mortal enemies? We must unleash our nuclear weapons. Annihilate them all! 
Excuse me, General? Our nuclear weapons? Our atomic bombs? Don't you understand? Without Einstein, there is no nuclear weapons because we have altered the space-time continuum. Oh, who knows what nightmares we have created. And welcome to a brand new LP of Command and Conquer Red Alert 3, Cooperative Edition. Today we'll be hitting off with the Soviets, Allies and Rising Sun eventually. Um, and to join me for this wonderful f game is Leviathan120. Hello. He's a drunk, he's had a bit too much of the fine wine. Just woke up about an hour ago. <laughs> okay, I've been on the fine wine, but... Yeah, you know, you know. <laughs> well, you're off the rum and coke. No, I have been on the rum and coke. This is my fine wine. <laughs> rum and coke and what the fuck? No, I don't actually have rum and coke. I have uh, lemonade and coke. Uh, lemonade and rum, because coke's too sweet for it for my in my liking. So, Way too sweet. But you don't have Pepsi either, because Pepsi's a bit... Eh. I'm going to stick to my hobnobs. Hobnobs. <laughs> anyway, um, if I've done this correctly... The trail, all the other videos should be up before this, and hopefully I'm being copyright slammed for any of the music. <laughs> well, so we shall see. Ah, Commander. As you can see, our situation is shockingly grim. All our divisions are concentrated in Europe pushing the Allies west. This empire knows very well that we're vulnerable right now. They will be expecting us to fall swiftly. At this very moment, their invasion force moves relentlessly towards Leningrad. I have chosen you to defend the USSR in this difficult hour because I need a commander who does not believe in defeat. Someone who will not simply drive our enemies back, but ultimately annihilate them, humiliate them, and show them no mercy. General Kirkov, would you like to meet our new commander? New commander? Yes. We're sending him to protect Leningrad. Even though I told you it was foolhardy to try and defend that city. If Leningrad falls, the Soviet people will begin to lose hope. Yes. Well, I wish him luck then. The Empire's technology is highly advanced, and he will likely be vastly outnumbered. But of course, it is an honor to sacrifice one's life for the motherland, is it not? Indeed. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a nation to defend. Comrade Dasha will be your information officer and will coordinate all our communication. Thank you, Your Excellency. Commander, the armies of the Empire are closing in as we speak. Make haste, Commander. Time is of the essence. We know little about the Empire's invasion force other than they are extremely mobile. 
They have surrounded Leningrad and are assaulting the city by way of the canals. Save our great metropolis. It is a symbol of the people's revolution. We've assigned the legendary sniper Natasha to your command. She will help you to help defend the city and eradicate the invading Imperial soldiers. Das Vidanya. Leningrad is under siege. Sweet Repel bet. the Imperial invaders and protect the fortress using our remaining forces in the vicinity. Natasha herself is available to assist in this dark hour. Your objectives are... Secure the fortress in the heart of Leningrad. Once secure, more forces will be available. Good luck to you. Yeah, seems simple enough against the Empire of the Rising Sun, but, eh, you know, nothing goes as easy as you think. Um, this game originally was made for cooperative play, which is, you know, a rarity you see. They usually add the co-op on afterwards, and you get Resident Evil 6 in that respect then. <laughs> um... But they did this pretty well, because if you were doing this single player, you get an AI commander, and they actually, they're quite chatty, <laughs> surprisingly. Um, they're but not stupid either, thankfully. They're not, yeah. They just, they just kind of don't do anything. Yeah, they know how to hold their ground, kind of thing. But unfortunately, because Leviathan's playing as a second commander, uh, you don't see any of them now. But they had, they had loads of people lined up for this, like, I... I know Ric Flair is in uh, Red Alert Free Uprising as one of the Ally Commanders, which is kind of hilarious. But yeah, I care for Uprising. Uh, Weird. I might do one of the, not maybe the campaign, but I might do the uh, a domination map because that's kind of interesting. Anyway, we'll see. Anyway, thing is to try to balance it because the Allies have kind of crap tech. The Empire's blockade has kept us from getting onto the island. A little We're bit. We're now attempting emergency landing operation. Use the surviving forces to secure the fortress. So the balance that forces out quite evenly. Is Leviathan gets conscripts and I get Natasha. Stand by. New objective received. Our ally is under attack. I'm ready for a kill. Natasha can call down an airstrike on the gates. Plus we get tutorial. I'm ready for a kill. Have we worked out yet where the ping button is? Oh, is that it? There, I wonder. No, that's not it. So I'm trying to work out where the ping button is. It's not worked out yet, have we? Sweet dreams. Natasha's a, a hero class, so takes a lot to kill her. <laughs> Let's be off. The pleasure's all mine. Uh, the person who plays us as well is actually a UFC fighter. I can't remember her actual name. New objective um. received. New construction options. Select your barracks I and wish we got five the flag guardians troopers to fight for you. Trailer. Or whatever our the allied troops. You're ready. Oh, the Gadget the GIs. <laughs> yeah, the, the, their shotguns are fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. I don't like the flak troopers the uh, flak Soviet trooper, Union get. Like They're terrible in my view. Flak trooper, doing my my problem with it is, because they're, they're meant to be anti-air and anti-ground, and their tank flak mines are so hard time. to pull off. Select I hate it. And train five flak troopers to fight flak for you. Objective complete. So this is what they call community service. Greetings from the Empire of the Rising Sun. I am Commander Kenji Tenzai, and it will be a great pleasure for me dismantling your cherished city today. <laughs> New objective See, they're pretty modest, uh, sh you know, shouting at you. <laughs> on the move. Taking position. Like we are currently isn't too bad, because there's, there's ten of us currently firing. Which is nice, but it. Yeah, I just don't know if I know. I'm just not a fan of the flag troopers. I like a good anti armor class, like a tank. Like, we don't get tanks for a long ass time in this game. They kind of. Uh, they hold you back quite a bit. Early game, anyway. Yeah. Disappointing. Yeah. I'm trying to remember when you do get them. Um, cause like, yeah. I think it was the mission after. It's the an allied mission, I know stops. that. 
Yeah, I think it might be. It's like four missions in you get them. That's like it's, I think you start getting subs then as well. I think, anyway. Oh. Next. Move. On the move. Yep. The hunt continues. Yeah. Still don't have any top secret projects ready yet. Yeah. So their big gimmick with this one is is that you can switch the uh, like each unit has a switchable ability. Black troopers get magnetic mines, which is their anti-armor ability. Uh, Natasha doesn't get a secondary ability though, which is kind of weird. But I think that's because she can. She's a sniper, but she can also shoot down. Um, she can call airstrikes, just like Boris. <laughs> though I know um, Tanya gets it. In uh, Red Alert, uh, for the Allies, cause she can. She has a temporal ability which sends you. She can like go back like ten seconds or maybe five seconds, something like that. Yeah, time belt for. Uh, yeah. Fuck, I forgot her name actually. Who Tanya? Yes. Oh, oh I, I can't think what the Emperor of the Rising Suns is, though. Thank you. Objective complete. Um, Yo, Yuri? No. Yuriko. Yuriko, yeah. I can't even think where her ability is. Pleased with yourself. The real attacks are only about to begin. She's psychic though, so she can throw everything about. <laughs> the Empire has begun assaulting the Hermitage Museum. It contains Russia's most precious historical treasures. Saving it will go a long way in giving our people hope at this dark hour. New well, bonus like objective received. The bullfrog can eject your infantry up to the Hermitage. Huh? Me? Bullfrog transport. Here we go. Yeah, bullfrog's special ability is it can um, catapult. Quite a nice distance as well. We had a good time, yes? Plus it's anti-air as well, so that's kind of that's always nice to have. Is it even worth me throw my shit over? You just throw Natasha and that's it. We I just threw the conscripts over. Actually, I left Natasha behind. Though it's just um, anti to armor, so we should be fine. Field promotion, here I come! I can do! Yes, sir! Oh, uh, the conscript special abilities, they have Molotovs, Premier which are good for clearing proud. buildings. At last, real battle! I like the conscripts, though, they're kind of hilarious. We march to victory! When it's like the old Fire days weapon. as well with the conscripts and everything Kill else, like when they rank up to level Honest 3, they uh. Point. Yeah, healing, which is lovely as well. You saved the Hermitage. This will restore great hope for the people. But it is not yet time to celebrate, for if the fortress falls, it will all be for nothing. Your troopers are needed back at the fortress. The bullfrog transport may launch them across the canal. Funds transferred. I'll be honest, I miss Sophia a bit no, from Red Alert 2. You, <laughs> you missed the what? Sophia, your ops officer in number 2. For the uh, Soviets. Did you got it? Never knew uh, her by so name. Soon? Oh, yeah. At least I don't remember. I think it's, it's Sophia. Wow, I'm I'm saying it's Sophia. I think it is. Maybe second guessing myself a little bit now. I, s I haven't learned the keys these in a while. The fortress is under attack. The Empire's forces are approaching through the canals from all sides. The fortress must not fall, comrade. Conscript training finished. Conscript training finished. Conscript training finished. Let's see how you fare with the Emperor's Shogun battleships. Hey, I'll give them credit, they've got the best timing ever when it comes to music and this kind of stuff. <laughs> so this is war. Flag Trooper doing my time. Objective Here's your share. Flag Trooper doing my time. Are you supposed to do something? Flag is trooper it time? doing my time. Oh, thank you. This is nice coat. I have to carry this. Well, this one actually has some time. nice stuff in it. Like, you can get practically all the units now into the uh, into yes. buildings, which is really nice. Like, you can put rocket troopers in, you can put everything in, you can put uh, desolators, which is an uprising, you can put them into buildings. Not very effective, but yeah. I think, <laughs> I think you can put Tesla troopers in Anybody as well. Anybody else? Though you can thank, uh, that was, they kind of put that in all the Commander Cocker games after Generals, which yeah. is where they was really first. 
Come on, let's have the magnetic satellite. We have granted you access to our new weapon, the magnetic satellite. Thank you. This powerful magnet in space can focus its attraction on a single metallic vehicle. Use it wisely. Yeah, I don't work well against. Uh, uh, what do you Ready call to open it? the top secret protocols menu and choose the magnetic satellite. Magnetic satellite ready. The magnetic satellite is ready to use. Use it against the battleships. That in combination with uh, the orbital dump is, you know, kind of nice. Top. That's a nice bit about them. Nothing like raining a battleship down on someone's head. Select yeah. target. Natasha can swim out into the canals in order to call in airstrikes against the battleships. You nice. must select and guide the magnetic satellite to this affect more targets. Expect to see much more of me and the other shogunate leaders. Yeah, that's it then. This is finished. Objective complete. <laughs> Commander, we have transferred the last of Leningrad's treasury to you. Please spend the it wisely. The forces still stand and Leningrad is safe. Excellent work. The Premier will surely be pleased. We got it done that quickly, the uh, audio cues that didn't caught up yet. <laughs> what's, what's the Premier's name again? What, his actual, the actor, you mean? Yeah, because I, I remember him from James Bond as, uh... James Bond? It's a KGB agent's name again. I can't, I know who you mean, I, can, I just can't think of his name, because he was in Rocky I Horror Show. Wooskin for some reason, but that's not it. It's the guy you meet in Statue in Goldeneye. Fuck, I can't remember his name? Well, the premiere is Tim Curry. Thank you, phone. <laughs> right. Thank you for watching, anyway. I hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, goodbye.